Ciao, friends! Beth with Thimblehooks. Thanks for stopping by. Today's project is one of my babies. I am so excited by this blanket. This is my snowflake virus. And these colors are just amazing, I think. Super bright white and my glittery blue. It is just gorgeous. It's huge. I'll take a nice picture of it so you can see it. But I'm going to show you how to make this absolutely beautiful snowflake virus six points right now. Let's get started. It's worked from the inside out, of course. So we're going to start working on the center part right here that's all in white. And then we will move on to the white and the blue. I love this virus blanket. It is so pretty and the colors really are making it for me. I'm just using Mainstays, which is a Walmart branded one. This is my fourth skein of white that I'm working on right here. This one is not quite done yet, but it's close. So four skeins of this and I had two skeins of my Lion Brand Summer Nights and this one is called Castaway. It's just shiny, shimmery, and every shade of blue that under the sun here. Every shade of blue and there's a little bit of gray in there and it's all flecked with like tinsel. It's just perfect, I think. And your center will end up looking like this. I hope you're enjoying my video and my channel. If so, please click that button to subscribe. Thanks! Start with the white and a six millimeter hook. Even though this wants a five and a half, I'm going to use a six. I'm using my six prim because I want to have nice, flowy, open stitches. Just looks beautiful that way. So we're going to make a magic circle. If you are not familiar with the magic circle, I have a tutorial that's only a couple minutes long out there. It's really easy, but I'll show you here real quick. Make an X, you have two loops, reach in, grab the back one, twist towards you, all the way around, grab the other side and pull through. Boom. Done. In our magic circle, we want to put eight double crochets. So I'm going to chain one. This does not count as a stitch. Chain one and now we're going to do eight double crochet. There's number one. I mark my stitch. Because I love my stitch markers and I'm working in the round so that is a given that I'm going to do that, right? That was number one. We want eight. Four. Five. Six. Seven. And number eight. There's all eight of our double crochets and now the magic part of our magic circle. Get your tail and pull. Pull, pull, pull. Pull it nice and tight. Now round two we're going to increase. So we're going to slip stitch into our marked stitch. Chain one does not count as a stitch. We are going to increase, so that means two double crochets in every one of the eight double crochets that we just made. So then move my stitch marker. So we're going to do two in every stitch, which takes our eight up to sixteen. And there's my second. Next stitch gets two double crochets also. And that's all the way around back to the stitch marker. And here are my last two. Double crochet and a second one in that same stitch. And then we slip stitch into our marked stitch. So now we have a little circle. Our next one is another increase. So we're going to chain one. It does not count as a stitch. And double crochet into our marked stitch. Move your stitch marker over to that stitch that we just made. So we're going to increase from 16 to 24. So there's our first double crochet. In the next stitch, it gets two double crochets. That's how we do our increase. And the next is one double crochet. And the next is two double crochets all the way around. 
please remember that it really helps my channel when you watch the video all the way to the end. And my last two stitches, first one gets a double crochet, and the last one gets two. There you go. Slip stitch into that marked stitch and chain one. That does not count as a stitch. It's just getting us ready for our next round. Now this is where I change it up a little bit so that it stays nice and flat. So we just did a increase with a double crochet and then two. This is a little bit different, but not too bad. So we're going to do a double crochet into our marked stitch. and move our stitch marker, very important while we're working in the round, and do another double crochet and a third double crochet. Now we will increase again. So there's two in this stitch. So we went from 24 to 30. Keeps it nice and flat. So again, there were three double crochets in a row, two and three, and then our increase, which is two double crochets in the same stitch. And that goes all the way around. So we're increasing from 24 to 30. There's my last four stitches. The first three each get a double crochet. And the last one gets two double crochets. Now we have a nice circle. Slip stitch into our marked stitch again and chain one. So we're ready for our next round. Do not count that as a stitch. All right, so going forward, this is a pretty easy increases if you're familiar with increases. Otherwise, you can see my perfect circle video. So our next one, we're going to double crochet into our marked stitch. We're increasing from 30 to 36. Double crochet once, twice, three times, and four times, and then it's time for an increase. Two double crochets in this stitch. Four double crochets in a row, and then an increase. Here's my last five stitches. The first four get a double crochet each. And the last one gets an increase, which means two double crochets in the same stitch. So we just increased from 30 to 36. Slip stitch into our marked stitch again and chain one, which does not count. And now we're going to do five double crochets in a row. There's our first one. See, this time we don't have to make it into a perfect circle because we kind of want it to have those points and you're going to end up with a little hexagon because it helps. That will help finish off the look of a snowflake. So again, it was one. We did one. We want five double crochets in a row and then do our increase. There's number three, number four, and number five. And in the sixth stitch, there will be two double crochets for an increase and that's your sequence all the way around. This is my last six stitches. The first five get a double crochet each. Three, four, and five. And the last one gets the increase which is two double crochets in the same stitch slip stitch into our marked stitch and chain one, which will not count as a stitch. Now see, this looks a little poofy right now. It will fall nice and flat, 
just like this one does. As long as you follow what I told you to do here, it will be nice and flat, just like this one is. We just increased up to 42. We're ready for our next round, which is another increase. This time, I bet you guessed it, double crochet in the first one. Move our stitch marker, and this one gets six in a row before the increase. Six double crochets in a row before the increase. Four, five, and six. And now an increase, which is two doubles in the same stitch. Get your sequence all the way around. Increasing from 42 to 48. Here's my last seven stitches. So the first six are double crochets and the last one is the increase. There's number six and my last stitch gets two double crochets. Slip stitch into our marked stitch. Chain one, which does not count as a stitch. And see, it's getting kind of poofy. But I promise it is going to lay flat. I've made many of these. So believe me, please don't get frustrated and don't get all fretted. Don't fret and undo all of your work. Do not frog it out. It's going to work just perfectly. Now we're going to increase again from 48 to 54. So we're going to double crochet into our first stitch, move our stitch marker, and of course you guessed it, seven double crochets in a row before the increase. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven and now our increase. And that is your sequence all the way around. Meet you at the stitch marker. This is my last eight stitches. The first seven are double crochets. And the last one has two double crochets. So we did another increase. Last stitch gets two. Increased. Slip stitch with our marked stitch. Chain one that does not count. And our circle is getting a little bit bigger. It's actually a hexagon shape. So our next one, increase again. This time we're going to do eight. So there's our first. Eight double crochets in a row before our increase. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And then two in the next stitch for an increase. And that is our sequence all the way around back to the stitch marker. Here's my last nine stitches. The first eight, double crochet. And that was our last increase. So we want to slip stitch into our marked stitch. Looking at our center part here, it's getting a little bit bigger. Almost ready to start with our, mix in our blue. It's gonna be great. Right, so we're chain one, which does not count. In our marked stitch, we wanna do a double crochet. And we can move our stitch marker one more time. 
and chain one. Next stitch is exactly the same thing. Double crochet, chain one. Next stitch, double crochet, chain one. Double crochet, chain one. All the way around to your stitch marker. Double crochet and a chain one in every stitch. All the way around. Hooray, I'm at my last stitch. Double crochet, chain one, and slip stitch into our marked stitch. There you go. This is our beautiful center piece, our starting point, which is amazingly important. The, getting this one done, getting this piece done right here is very important for making the virus properly and having the right amount of stitches and being able to get all of your points in the right spot. So again, we have just made the very center part right here. Looks just like it. Now we're going to move on. All of our base stitches are in place so we can start with our virus process and it really is easy. I promise you're going to catch it. Even if you have been frightened of the virus before, it is not going to be difficult, I promise. Right, so now I have my Summer Nights in Castaway, this gorgeous shiny blue. I am going to mix that in now. I'm going to add it to my white. We are not going to finish off the white. We're going to keep working. We're going to work with both of them. And how you start the virus is we're going to chain five. One, two, three, four, and five. Don't need my stitch marker right now. And so there's our chain five. We're going to skip a space and single crochet. Chain three. One time skip a space, single crochet, chain three a second time, skip a space, single crochet, and chain three a third time. Skip a space and single crochet. This is the first part of a corner because it's bigger. It's a five chains. And then we have three sets of three chains in a row, single crochet. So you end up with three open spots. There's the big half of a corner, half a corner right here. There's five chains and then three that have three chains each. So our next is going to be chain five. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, see and I missed, there we go, five. Skip one, single crochet. And since this is a real corner instead of a half a corner, we're going to do that again. One, two, three, four, and five. Skip a space and single crochet. There's a half a corner. These are the three in between. And here's a corner just like this one right here. There's the base for that. So then we're just going to repeat this process. Do those three. So we're going to chain three. One, two, three. Skip one, single crochet. Chain three for a second time. Skip one, single crochet. Chain three for a third time. Skip one, space and single crochet into the next space. Now it's time for another corner. So we always do three. What we're doing is three in between each corner right now to get our base set up. So there was a corner and then we did our one, two, three sets of three chains with a single crochet. Now we chain five again. One, two, three, four, and five. Skip one and single crochet. And again, because this is another point of our snowflake. One, two, three, four, five. Skip one and single crochet. So here's a point. 
there's a point and there's another point in between our points of our snowflake are three sets of chain three with a single crochet. So that's what we're going to do. Chain three for the first time, skip a space, single crochet into the next space, chain three for the second time, skip a space, single crochet, chain three for the third time, skip a space and single crochet. Now since we did those three, it's time for a corner. So that means we have to chain five. One, two, three, four, and five. Skip a space and in the next chain space single crochet. And we do that one more time. Chain five. One, two, three, four, five. Skip one chain space, single crochet into the next chain space. So there's another point for our snowflake. So we're back to our chain threes. Chain three for the first time, skip a space, single crochet. Chain three a second time, skip a chain space, single crochet. Chain three for the third time, skip a chain space and single crochet. We did our three, so it's time for another point. So that means five. One, two, three, four, and five chains. Skip a space and single crochet in the next. Our point needs two sets of our chain five. So there's our second one skip a space and single crochet. There's another point. See, we're working right around here. This is going great. Works up pretty fast. That was another point. It has the two fives. So we're back to our chain threes. Chain three for the first time. Skip a space. Single crochet. Chain three for the second time, skip a space, single crochet. Chain three for the third time, skip a space, and single crochet. So you get the hang of it there that there's always three in between each one of our points. There's another point. Time for another point. So we chain five. One, two, three, four, five, skip a space, single crochet, and repeat. One, two, three, four, five, skip a space, and single crochet. All right, it's time for another point. So the point is chain five, three, four, five, skip one chain space and single crochet and do that again. Chain five, one, two, three, four, five, skip one chain space and single crochet. Now in between our points, what, were we, what have we been doing in between our points? Three sets of chain three. So it's one more time, one, two, three for the first time. Skip a spot, single crochet chain three for the second time. Skip a spot, chain three. Chain three for the third time. Skip a spot, chain three. Now we've met up with this. We have to finish this point of our snowflake because it's supposed to be two like it is everywhere else. This was the beginning, so it was a half. So what we want to do is do our chain five. One, two, three, four, and five, skip a chain space, single crochet into this last one, connect these and finish this round. This is our last thing we need to do to finish this round. It's yarn over, pull through, and slip stitch. So that's our base round. We're ready to go. Here's a point. 
there's a point, there's a point, there's a point, there's a point, and there's a point. This is six pointed and this will lie flat. Right now it's still a little bit poofy, but remember how poofy it was before like this? It's already easing up because we're working it bigger and bigger. So now we have six points. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And we're still working with both colors, the white and the blue. Our virus is a four round repeat. So this was round one where we started with the blue. Now we're going to chain three. One, two, three. That counts as a double crochet. In our chain five we want a total of ten. And since this one counts, that's number one. We want to put in nine more. There's number two double crochets. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten total. Let's just count. You can count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and your chain three counts as number ten. So there's half right here. And remember this very first part of a new round only does half of this point. This would be our very last thing to do. This is our very first thing to do. So here's a half of that point. Now we just jump over to this chain three space and single crochet. Jump straight over. Chain three. One, two, three. And jump to the next chain space and single crochet. One, two, three. And jump to the next chain space. The next chain three space and single crochet. And you see we've changed this where we had three, one, two, three in between our points. Now there's two sets of three chains in between. And we're going to build up this point now. In this chain five space we want ten double crochets. One, two, three, four, Eight, nine, and ten. And there's another chain five space right next to it. So it goes straight into doing ten double crochets in that space as well. One, two, three, four. And we've worked on one of our points. Now in between, so we have another point coming over here. In between, you're going to jump straight from your double crocheting straight over to this chain three space and single crochet. Chain three, jump to the next three chain space and single crochet. Chain three for a second time and jump to the third one with a single crochet. So now we're at another point. So each one of these chain five loops gets ten double crochets each. And that is your sequence all the way around. So continue that all the way around. Every point, every five chain space gets ten double crochets and in between you're just connecting with your chain threes Right, there is my last full point right here. I have my three three chains right here. So I'm going to jump over to that first 
chain, three space, single crochet, chain three one time, jump to the next chain space and single crochet, chain three for a second time, jump to the third chain space and single crochet. We're back to where we first started. Right here we have to finish this point. So as we've done with all of the other points all the way around, this five chain space gets ten double crochets. There's two, three, and nine, and ten. Now in order to finish round two we need to connect these because our round is not, it's not round yet. It needs to be connected. So you go into the top of our chain three, the third chain gets a slip stitch. Now your round is done because it's connected. So we have one, two, three, four, five, and six points just like a snowflake. So that's our second round of four. And then it's all repeats after that. Super, super easy. So we want to chain three. One, two, three, which counts as a stitch. It counts as a double crochet. Make sure you're in the right spot. This is the easiest way to make sure you're in the right spot. Each one of these double crochets is going to get another double crochet on top of it. But you don't want to go over or under. You want to make sure that you have ten. Remembering this one counts. So let's go to our last double crochet from the previous round right here and count back nine. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. This is where you want your next stitch to be. Right here. And whoopsie, and I missed my blue. And double crochet. A total of ten one in each of the double crochets that you made in that point for the second round. And make sure you only have ten. You don't want to miss one and only have nine or go over and have eleven because you do not want to have to frog all this out, especially if it's really big. You just put in so much time that you don't want to do that. The easiest way to do is to just count a little bit. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I need two more. In this one, it's a double crochet. And one more. Now I have a total of ten that were worked into all of these right here. So those ten each got a ten. Remember that your chain three counts as a stitch. Now from here, working in between your points again, jump straight over to this chain three space. There's only two of them this time and single crochet. Chain three, and jump to the second one and single crochet. Got a little pyramid, little triangle going on here. There were one, two, three in the first round here. There's one, two in this round. And now this chain three is all by itself in between your points. Jump straight over to your point into your first double crochet is right here. We want a double crochet in the top of every single one of them. So that'll end up being 20. Four, eighteen, nineteen, and twenty. That last stitch was in our last double crochet. So every one of our double crochets gets a double crochet on top of it. So there's a set of ten. Instead of ten, so we had twenty double crochets in a row. Now we're going to go jump straight to our chain three space and single crochet. Chain three one time only, and jump to the next chain three space and single crochet. 
and now we're back to another point double crochets in everything you want 20 and that's the sequence all the way around for round three of our four round repeat for our virus so I'll meet you back at the beginning and show you exactly how to end this round all right just finished my last full point and we're back almost to the beginning right here so we jump to our chain three space with a single crochet chain three and another single crochet and then just jump straight to this piece right here we want it to look just like this one so each double crochet gets its own double crochet so ten more one two three eight nine and ten and now you want to slip stitch in the third chain of your chain three from the very beginning of this round And that was round three of your three round repeat. Now we have six points that are starting to look like points. A lot easier to see now. So what we did here, right here is this. The row we just did is right here. So now we want to do that round. Our last round is we are going to chain three one, two, three, which counts as a double crochet, plus one. That's a chain one in between. So again, we, the easiest way to do this is to find your last stitch over here. Find your last stitch over here and count back nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. And now you know exactly where you need to put your next stitch. So here's a double crochet right here and a chain one. So you'll end up with 10 double crochets with a chain one in between. Chain one, chain one, double crochet, chain one, so it's easy, really easy to count these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Here's our last double crochet. But like I said, our chain ones are only in between. So there's no chain one after this. Only in between these stitches. Not after the very last one. We are just going to jump straight over. Skip this guy completely. Jump straight over to our next point and do the exact same thing again. A double crochet and a chain one. Double crochet, chain one. And that's how you do this entire round. Okay, I made it back almost to the beginning. It's on my last little piece right here. So again, just like we've been doing on all the other ones, jump straight across this little three chain piece to your first double crochet, double crochet and chain one, through every one of these from the previous round and we're going to match up with the part we started with the very beginning of this round in just one moment. We're almost there. There's number nine and there's number ten. Still want to do the chain one because that's still part of the sequence and now in this chain four we want to keep that chain one and this chain one. So what we want to do is slip stitch into chain number three. One, two, three. So then you keep your sequence all the way around. 
So I double crochet with the chain one in between on both sides. It's perfect. Now you have completed one four round sequence for the virus part. This is awesome. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you how to set up your next base just like this one is. This baseline right here in white all the way around and then the rest of it is super easy peasy it's all repeats so we're going to drop the blue so I won't be working with blue this time for the pattern that I made here's my center I did two complete sequences of blue and then two white and then two blue and I'm planning to do two more white right so now you've completed one complete sequence all the way around I'm going to show you how to set up for the next one because it should look amazingly familiar. It should look very, very familiar. All right, so I'm going to drop the blue and set up your next sequence around here. Just so it's a little bit easier to see, I'm just going to drop my blue. So what we do is just like we did on our first round of our four round repeat, right down here we're going to set up our new sets of points because we filled this one up. So we chain five, one, two, three, four, five. Should sound familiar. Jump over to this chain space right here and single crochet. Chain three for the first time. One, two, three. Skip one chain space, single crochet. Chain three for the second time. Skip one chain space and single crochet. Chain three for the third time. Skip one chain space and single crochet. Now we know, since we did our three in a row of chaining three, we know that it's time for a chain five. So we have to decide, is it a corner or is it not a corner? It's not a corner. Corners are over here. So this is just one set of chain five. One, two, three, four, five, and jump across to this space right here which is exactly like it is on this side. These two spaces are where you want to work. There's our chain five. Jump over here and single crochet. So there's another five chain space. So that's how you do your chain five spaces when you're not at a point, not at a corner. That's how it's going to look all the way down the side. So we did our chain five right here so that means we do our chain three for the first time skip one single crochet chain three for the second time skip one single crochet chain three for the third time it's always going to be our sequence skip one and single crochet now are we at a corner yet yes we are at a point so that's perfect so at a point we do chain five, skip one single crochet, and another one just like it. One, two, three, four, five, skip one and single crochet. So then you always have your point. So after we do a chain five, it's always one, two, three for the first time, skip a space, single crochet, chain one, two, three for the second time, skip one, single crochet. Chain one, two, three for the third time, skip one and single crochet. So we did our three, now we know it's time for a big one, which is a chain five. Are we at a point or not? No. So this is just chain five one time. One, two, three, four, five, and jump over symmetrically you want to jump over to this space right here and single crochet Oopsie. did our chain five so it's back to our chain threes one two three for the first time skip and single crochet chain one two three for the second time skip and single crochet chain one two three for the third time skip and a single crochet. Now we know we have to do our fives. So are we at a corner or not? Are we at a point? We're at a point. So that means two fives. One, 
two, three, four, five. There's our chain five, skip, and a single crochet. One, two, three, four, five. Skip, and a single crochet. And you see that our points are following each other. And over here, where there wasn't one before, there's just a new chain five. And that is your sequence all the way around. So you've done your chain five. So you're doing the one, two, three, skip a space, single crochet. Chain one, two, three for the second time. Single crochet. Chain one, two, three for the third time. Skip a space and single crochet. Now where are we at a corner? No, we're not at a corner or a point. We're at a flat spot just like this. Because the corner is over here. We're at a flat spot. So that's just a chain five all by itself. One, two, three, four, five. And jump over to this chain space which makes it look exactly the same as this in this chain space and a single crochet. Finish to five, so it's one, two, three for the first time, skip and single crochet. One, two, three for the second time, skip and a single crochet. Chain three, one, two, three for the third time, skip and a single crochet. Now it's time for your five chain are you at a corner or not? If you're at a corner, then you do two. If you're not at a corner, then you do one. We are at a point or a corner. One, two, three, four, five. Skip a space, single crochet. Since we're at a corner, we're doing that again. One, two, three, four, five. Skip a space, single crochet. Now we're back to our threes. One, two, three for the first time, skip, single crochet. One, two, three for the second time, skip, single crochet. One, two, three for the third time, one, skip this one and single crochet right here. Time for a five chain, so how many do we need? One or two? Well, we're not at a corner, we're not at a point, so we have to do one, two, three, four, five, just one time and jump over to this space so it's symmetrical and single crochet. So we just did a five, so that means we have to do one, two, three for the first time, skip, single crochet. One, two, three for the second time, skip and a single crochet. One, two, Two, three for the third time, skip, and a single crochet. And now it's time because every time we do our set of three, it's time for our five chains. There's always chain fives on either side of our chain threes. So now we have to do a chain five. One, two, three, four, five. Skip one, and single crochet. Are we at a corner? So yes, we are at a point. So we have to do another one. One, two, three, four, five. So they match up. Skip and single crochet. Now we're back to our threes. One, two, three. Skip and single crochet. Chain one, two, three for the second time. Skip one, single crochet. One, two, three for the third time, skip and single crochet. So you did all three times, now it's time for a fiver. So are we at a corner or not a corner? That's how you decide. Not a point, not a corner. So we're just going to do a chain five all the way across here. One, two, three, four, five. And you jump over to this space, which is a, the same as the space on the other side and single crochet. One, two, three for the first time, skip, single crochet. One, two, three for the second time, skip, and a single crochet. One, two, three for the third time, one, skip, and a single crochet. 
Now you decide, are we at a corner? We're at a point, we're at a corner, yay! So we have to do chain five twice. One, two, three, four, five, skip and a single crochet. One, two, three, four, five, skip and a single crochet. And now we're back to our threes. We're going to work right down the side here again. One, two, three chains for the first time, skip and a single crochet. One, two, three for the second time, skip and a single crochet. Chain one, two, three for the third time, one, skip one and single crochet. Now we have to decide, are we at a corner or not? That's what you do every single time. We're not at a corner, so we chain five, one time only, one, two, three, four, five, so we can jump across this gap and go to this space, which is the same symmetrically on the other side. Single crochet. Now we have to do our threes. Chain one, two, three. Oh. Skip one and single crochet. Chain one, two, three for the second time. Skip one and single crochet. Chain one, two, three for the third time. Skip one and single crochet. We're back to our beginning. So we have to finish this point. Finishing this point equals a five. One, two, three, four, five chains. Skip one, single crochet. And then to connect everything, remember we just go right through this very first loop of five and slip stitch. And now everything is just repeated. Just keeps going and going and going. That's why they call it a virus, I guess, because it just keeps getting bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. Right, so that was our repeat of our very first round it's underneath here. Now you do all of the double crochets that we did on this round, and the double crochets that we did on this round, and the double crochets that we did on this round. And you just keep going and going and going. If you're at a corner, two loops. If you're not, it's one and in between there will be threes. And that way you always be able to keep track. There's my center. I have two complete rounds of blue, two complete rounds of white, two complete rounds of blue again. I'm going to do another set of two whites and then I'm going to see how big it is. This is skein number four of my white and skein number two of my Summer Nights Castaway. But anything that's nice and bright and white in a four weight You'll love it. It will be beautiful because this is super bright white. I love it. And this color right here is just to die for. It looks like a snowflake. I'm so excited by this. We just made this together. Isn't it cute? <laughs> so thanks for stopping by. Thank you for supporting my small business. Please subscribe to Thimblehooks. Share this with everyone you know and stop back soon. My calendar is so full. You're going to have a great time. Thanks. Bye.